Hey guys, I am so excited for this video. I cannot wait to get into it. I don't even know where to start. As you can hear, I'm still a little bit sick, but the main thing that I needed for this video was my sense of smell and it is well and truly back. And that is why today we are doing the long awaited video for Wickedy Whack. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> my smell is back, Wickedy Whack. <laughs> this video could not be done if I didn't have my sense of smell. My voice, I don't need so much, but my sense of smell, yes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have loved this brand for a very long time. And I was actually a customer before I found out that I knew the owner of the company. It's a really lovely organic story. So I wanna tell you a little bit about that. And what today is going to be is basically a scent reaction video, which I've never done before. And I've got so many diffuser oils here to share with you and candles, and there'll be a giveaway. And I'll be speaking about my very own candle that I developed with Wickedy Wax. So if this interests you, keep on watching. Hey, I'm Evelina Damore. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a while, how are you? How are you doing? If you've just found me, and I know a lot of you are fairly recent and new here because I get messages either on here or on Instagram that you've just joined the family. Welcome. If you don't know much about me, my name's Evelina. I'm a mother of two beautiful little boys. I'm a... What? <laughs> What am I? I do quite a few things. I'm an independent designer. I have my own online store. I've been doing collaborations with some cool YouTubers that I admire. I do art. I'm in a band called As Angels Bleed. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on, but for some reason or another, you found my channel and I welcome you here. So today I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I feel so fucking honored to be doing this video. I've got so many smells in front of me. I wish you guys had smell vision I really do because you get to see my reaction, but you really need to be smelling it with me. And I think before I start, I might just go and grab Vaughn's coffee because I know that they do that in perfume stores to kind of like confuse your senses or reboot, refresh, whatever you want to call it. And I think with so many lovely scents, I'm definitely going to have to do that because I'm worried that they might all mix in or start smelling the same, which is not the case at all. So let me go get that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have my coffee black, just like I like my men. <laughs> that is such a funny job. I do actually. Happily married, but I do love men of color, especially that guy from, is it NCIS with the blue eyes? I will put up a photo. He is one fine looking man. <laughs> when your hair shows under your underarms, you know it's getting long. Yeah. I don't know where to start. I'm just so excited about everything. I'm gonna have a little chat to you while I line up all my products to show you. And I think we will start with diffusers. So while I get these ready, I will talk to you about what fuck diffuser is. Now this little guy here is a diffuser and this one was sent to me by Wickedy Whack. The first one that I bought from them is outside and I'll show you that one later. I love the owl print on this and I will also show you how they look at night because they're really ambient. And that is actually the main reason I switched from a wax melting one with a real flame to this because it gave me my atmospheric lighting. You guys know I fucking love that. What I also love about these is that they start working immediately. That one's just stopped because I, I just fill it up with water. Real professional here. But when we go into the living room, I will show you how easy they are to work. I will show you the one that I've been using for about a year and a half. And Wickedy Wack were kind enough to send me that owl one because I think a lot of you are really gonna like that one. It's super cute and owls are always associated with the gothic subculture, aren't they? Creatures of the night, nocturnal, they're beautiful. Okay, so a quick little backstory on how this collaboration actually came about. About a year and a half ago, as I said, I found Wickedy Wack myself. I can't actually remember how, doesn't matter. I found them and I bought a diffuser and a few of their oils and I've been hooked ever since. I've used this thing every day. And at the time I didn't know it was run by my friend. So I just bought a few things. And then when the order arrived, she included a little extra candle in the package, which I fucking love. And I remember it was blueberry muffin. And that's one of the scents I'm super excited to share with you today. Anyway, the little note that came with the order said, hey, don't know if you know, but this is Annalise from Technical Threads. Thanks for your order. Hope you enjoy your stuff. And then it clicked and my mind was like, blown. <laughs> Yeah, I was so genuinely excited for her. Let's go back 10 years. There weren't many independent designers in Australia. I, I still don't think there's many in their alternative gothic kind of subculture. And there was myself who was very heavily involved with any kind of events or activities or markets. And then there was Annalise who was running Technical Threads and she was doing really well. She was on Berserk, one of the biggest and still the biggest alternative online stores in Australia. And I was on there as well. So we knew each other. We saw each other at events and we chat to each other. It was so wonderful to 
find out that a company that I genuinely fell in love with was run by someone that I already knew and admired. Like myself, she's been a business chameleon and has gone from one thing to another over the last few years, just like myself. And again, I really admire that. I find that I can't do the same thing for like a crazy amount of time unless I really enjoy it slash it's successful or a combination of both. So as a fellow Australian business owner to another, Annalise, I'm so proud of you. It's so wonderful to see your business flourishing and Wickedy Whack are doing so well. They've just moved into this insanely huge warehouse. Like I'm just, I'm tripping out. I'm so happy for them. And the main point of today's video is to, ugh, someone needs to invent smell vision but to just make you aware of this fabulous product. They ship worldwide. With the diffusers, you know, they've got the, um, the Australian power adapter, but you can buy the converter if you're in Europe or America or whatever. I think you can buy a converter on eBay for like a buck and then it will on your power supply so that's not even an issue at all so let's get into the smells I've got all of them lined up here I'm going to read them out to you and I might have a little wee scent orgasm as I'm doing this because it's so exciting amazing grape caramel vanilla frosty fruits Ooh, nag champa is that a type of champagne am I, am I not cultured enough to know what that is unicorn farts I know that one fruit loops Champagne strawberry. I did have a sneak of that one. Oh, my favorite blueberry muffin, watermelon, coconut lime, aloha, wild raspberry, and Thai lime and mango. So the one that I purchased a year and a half ago that I've been using every day is about half empty. These things are fucking potent. Annalise, the owner of Wickedy Whack, was actually very secretive, not with what the actual ingredients were in these oils or the candles, but in how they get the scent to last that long. They've got a lot of candle companies trying to steal what she has achieved. Her candles smell for the entire burn. I've got some where it smells nice on the top layer. You burn it and the scent just dissipates. And even when you're burning it, it's like, it is. <laughs> Is, is it working? <laughs> it's just a candle, like it's just illuminating the room now. It's not there to tantalize my senses. And this shit definitely tantalizes my senses. So if you are looking for an orgasm of the nose, <laughs> you've come to the right video. So I use about three to four drops of these each time I turn my diffuser on. And we're going to go into my living room a little bit later on in this video. It has cathedral ceilings. The ceilings are fucking high and you can smell it. People walk in, my neighbors, my friends walk in and they're like, what is that smell? Your house always smells delicious. And what is it? It's wickety whack. They know their shit. <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of them. Okay, so the one that I chose again is Thai lime and mango. This, this is my favorite. And when I say favorite, you're like, Evelina, how could you have a favorite? You only bought one. I bought many from other brands. One that springs to mind is Scentsy and another brand, Essential. I can't remember. They're not as good. It doesn't matter. Ugh, even clothes. I fucking love it. Used within one year of purchase. Whoops. <laughs> Am I going to throw this out? Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this one is very fresh. Just looking at the names of the other ones, I can tell there's going to be one Aloha, definitely two or three that are going to be similar in this as in the smell takes me away. It makes me feel like I'm living on a tropical island. Like I've gone to the Bahamas or Fiji or somewhere just really fucking tropical <laughs> and it's fresh and something that I really like about these scents, all of them, is that they smell real. They're not that cheap stuff. You know when you go to like two dollar shops and they've got this whole array of like essential oils and burning oils? Don't use them. They've probably got chemicals inside them that will kill you. These are all Australian ingredients and Australians know their shit. I mean, Australians are leading the way in like the development of the cure of cancers and stuff like that. I'm not bullshitting you. I can't remember which exact type of cancer, but very recently, it happened, they did it, and it came from Australia. So the first one that I'm going to recommend to you is this one. The mixture of lime and mango, again, it's very fresh. I love both of those things, eating them and smelling them. So no surprise that I would like that scent. And I never tire of it. Okay, I'm gonna dip into some coffee. Oh yeah, Ugh. I don't drink coffee, so that just totally refreshed the senses. Wild raspberry. Mmm. It's so fucking creamy. How do you do it? Tell me, at least, <laughs> if you're not gonna tell everyone, just DM me and tell me how you do this, Annalise. Mm. It's mature, it's dark, it's sweet, but it's, a, it's a, a dark sweetness, like kind of similar to something I'm gonna talk to you about in a minute, um, which is black opium, my perfume. You know how it's like um, dark cherry? 
You guys are just gonna. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Excuse me while I just. <laughs> Something I love as well is that all the smells just mix together. Like I can't smell anything chemical based in that because you know it shouldn't be in that. It's going in the air. You're breathing it in. It's coming out of your diffuser. So it's important that you know where all the ingredients come from and that they're safe for human ingestion because really you're breathing that shit in. But everything about that just smells so pleasant. The way I'm trying to describe this, and I will keep saying they just smell so real, is basically because they are real fragrances. They come from nature. But the other thing that I want to relate it to that these are nothing like are those air fresheners that you get from the supermarket. You all know what I'm talking about. It says like vanilla and orchid rose or something on it and you smell it and it just, it smells fake, it smells like chemicals. Yeah, it's gonna mask your shit that you just took, but it's not much better <laughs> than what just happened in the, oh my God, okay, you guys get what I mean. The actual fragrances that make the smell are just fake and there's such a difference in high quality oils. So that one is beautiful. I want to say it's my second favorite, but literally it's the second one I've smelled, so it kind of is. Coffee. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, okay, caramel vanilla. Two things I love very much. How cute is the packaging? Let's have a look at the packaging for a second. They come in these little black tubes with that lovely gold logo on it. Open it up and inside you have this. It has a child safety lock on the oil, which I think is just standard, but I still really appreciate that because my little ones like to get into everything. I think nail polishes should come with that as well, hey? Oh my God. Like that is actual caramel. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna eat it. I, what do I, I wanna rub it all over my body and can I actually use these as rubbing oils? I'll have to ask Annalise because that one actually smells too good to put in the diffuser. I wanna put that on my body. Out of the ones that I have here at the end, I will tell you say my favorite three because I think that's fair. That's gonna be hard. So you guys need to appreciate that I'm doing that. But yeah, if you're a sweet tooth, you're going to love that. I mean, who doesn't like walking into a house and it just smells like you've been cooking? Yum. <laughs> All right, let's go to watermelon. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, I can smell it already. Hmm. Ah, oh, that one's reminding me of something from my childhood. Yeah, just something. <laughs> I can't remember what. It's definitely watermelon, but I'm smelling something else as well. It's reminding me of those push pops. You know, the ones where you stick your finger in and the lolly comes up? Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely watermelony, but I'm getting something else as well. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> I will use all of these in summer. I will use all of these all year round. I'm very grateful to have the entire selection with me, so I will put them to good use. If I decide that there's a few that I don't like or whatever, I'm probably going to give them to some of my friends, but I really doubt it. <laughs> okay, so so far we have done four out of the 12. I'm going to smell some more coffee and get on to the next one. Oh, how do you guys do it? How do you drink so much coffee? Okay, I, let's just do it. Let's go to blueberry muffin. So this is, this is my favorite. <laughs> I want to say this is the most memorable one to me. When I first placed my order and I found out that it was Annalise's business, she sent me blueberry muffin and I could not stop fucking raving about it. So it was about this size. Actually, it was exactly that size. How beautiful is this candle? We'll get to that in a second. And from the moment I lit it to the very bottom and I, I like, it was just glass. I used that candle until there was nothing left. It smelled. That was my point. Not that I used the whole candle, that the entire time the candle was lit, it let off scent the entire time. And going back to Wickedy Whack and why they're so special, Annalise was actually telling me she worked a very long time on her soy candle recipe to make sure that that fragrance was in there for the entire burn, which is terrific. Now why this one is my favorite, Sorry, I'll be done in a second. Oh my God. Okay, firstly, it makes me hungry. I'm always hungry and I love blueberry muffins. It's so creamy. I've never, like, it's clear. It's yellow actually, look at that. Of course it's yellow. It's fucking infused in oil, you idiot. <laughs> I've never smelt an oil that's so rich and literally creamy. Like it smells like there's whipped cream in here. And again, I can't separate like one ingredient or scent or whatever, but it, it just all comes together. That one especially is Creamy. That's the only way I can describe it. And that is my favorite one so far that we've done. I love you too. This one's coming to bed with me tonight. 
I've had to keep the boys away from this box like so hard. They've been obsessed with the candles. And because I told him one of the candles was mine, still. He was like, well, this one can be mine, mummy. Can I put it next to my bedside table? I'm like, oh, you're so cute. So just let me get better and let me film my video first, please. Coffee. Oh, sometimes I like the smell of coffee and then sometimes I'm like, no. Okay, so the next one I'm opening up. Oh, I got a whiff of that already is amazing grape. Amazing grape. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I want to be real with you. I can't love absolutely everything. And I don't think that's the point of the video. It is a scent reaction video. So I want to give you my honest reactions. It's really nice, but I think it's not fair. You can't put anything up against blueberry muffin and expect it to come out winning. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's fucking beautiful. But next to my blueberry muffin, it doesn't win. It's still very nice. I think this is one of the ones that I was talking about where there's a K in the bottle, but then you put it in the diffuser and it comes to life. So I'm very keen to see how this one smells when it's actually in the diffuser and going up into the atmosphere and making my house smell delicious. Deadly, but delicious. Okay, to continue with the fruit theme that we have going on, we can either do, see I'm, I'm confused with the titles, Frosty Fruits, Fruit Loops. I mix those two up, but they are separate. Let's do champagne strawberry. Because strawberry is a fruit. Ooh. I feel like this is gonna be a mature strawberry. Ready? Ready? Ooh. Okay, that one's different. I prefer that to the grape one. Oh yeah, I am getting the champagne from that. That's lovely too. That is a really mature scent. It's mildly sweet, but in that dark way again, which I fucking love. Which is why I think I might not like Fruit Loops, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I could just breathe that shit in all fucking day. Okay, so Champagne Strawberry. I'm gonna put you in a different pile because you're special. You're yeah, special. <laughs> Do the coffee. One that I'm really excited about that I'm going to have to buy myself is musk. I think they might have just been developing that one or something, but I'm all over musk. I love musk. Yeah, the next one I'm doing is Fruity Loops. I would expect this one to be sickeningly sweet, just like the cereal. If I can open it. Okay, here we go. Scent reaction time. Oh, okay, that's not what I was expecting. That's different. There's lime in that. I wish I had a few moments later. Okay, so I was trying to be a smart ass and go to the Wickedy Wipe website. I was hoping they might have listed other things that would go into the oil to kind of help me out here. Cause like, I don't have one of those noses where you're like, oh yes, that's our mint. And a little bit of a frankincense and myrrh there, a touch of cinnamon, <laughs> a quarter of a teaspoon of sandalwood. <laughs> I just know if I like it or not. And there's something in, wow, I'm so surprised by this one. Like it is sweet, but in a weird way. There's definitely lime. There is lime in that that is confusing the sugariness in it. And I think that's why I'm attracted to it. Cause again, my favorite is Thai lime and mango. Well, fuck me, one that I said, <laughs> I'm not gonna like this. I'm gonna put in my pile of extra special ones. Also, we haven't overheated in 10 minutes. Yay, God bless YouTube. Okay, let's go on to Aloha. When I was just on the Wickedy Whack website, I saw that they have free shipping. I'm sure this is just for domestic orders. We'd have to check for international. Free shipping over $60, which is fantastic. These oils are $15. You get 30 mil. Again, I've been using mine every day for a year and I've only half used it. So that is incredible value. And the candle for Aloha, so fresh and Hawaiian. It was this really teal kind of blue and a lighter blue. Their colors are terrific in their candles as you will see in a little moment. Okay, Aloha. I would expect frangipani. I mean, is not is that the flower of Hawaii or am I just fucking embarrassing myself? Um, okay, let's go. Aloha. Oh, hello. Banana? Oh, that's one of those kind of creamy yet fruity ones again. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be your favorite. <laughs> Stop saying the same thing over and over, woman. Fresh. Floral, sweet, relaxing, calming, little banana-y. Like imagine if you're sitting at a five-star resort on Honolulu Beach and they, they bring you a fruit salad and breakfast and hang some flowers around your neck. Whilst you look at the beautiful volcano to your left. <laughs> Am I setting the picture well enough? Yeah, that's really nice. And why I'm smelling them so much as well is just to honestly show you like they can go, they can go right up your nostrils and they're not pungent. They're not disrespectful to your, <laughs> to your, to your, one of your senses. Like you can, you can just sniff that in all day. 
and it's lovely. You know, it doesn't give you a fucking headache or make your eyes water. They're, they're so beautiful. Okay, now I've got three in my little favorites pile. 15 minutes, no overheating. Okay, well now I'm damn curious to see what Frosty Fruits is. Is that a cereal? Fruit Loops is, or is it Fruity Loops? Okay, let's see what Frosty Fruit is. I need a cup of tea. Frosty Fruit. This could be the most funnest video I've ever made. I feel like that one smells like one I've already smelled, but I cannot pinpoint which one it is. I thought it might have been Aloha, but as soon as I open that up, I'm like, no, that is its own defined fragrance. I mean, we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and they were all very distinct. That is the first one where I've been like, hmm. Nice in its own right, but probably not my favorite one so far, but that's okay. I'm not supposed to like all of them. Okay, the next one is Unicorn Fart. <laughs> How great is that name? Now I have a few other products. Um, I have one. I don't know why I said a few. Um, I've got a cuticle oil that is unicorn fart. Oh, wow, it smells the same. This smells better. But that must be a smell that like someone's made. That smells like unicorn farts, but on steroids. It's better than the one that I've got in my oil. Okay, I'm gonna go back to frosty fruits for a second. Yeah, okay. So my least favorite so far <laughs> is unicorn farts. I'm sorry. It's a great fucking concept. I really prefer Frosty Fruits over Unicorn Fart, so we're gonna put you to the side. Okay, we've only got two left, Coconut Lime. I am interested to see if that is different to Thai Lime and Mango. I imagine it would be, and I imagine it to be more creamy. I hope it's a creamy one, because I love the creamy ones. Okay, so here we have Nag Shampa. Is that something? <laughs> I hope I'm not embarrassing myself. Tell me in the comments if I am. Also, tell me in the comments, what is your favorite? Let me know. Oh! <laughs> we have a winner. Oh, Annalise, you're about done yourself. What the fuck is this Nag Shampa? Wow, uh, that, that's beautiful. That hands down is so incredibly different. It is a standout to everything else. Everything else, what am I looking at it, is actually like very sweet based, dark sweet. None of them have been overwhelmingly like disgustingly sugary fake sweet, but this is the first one. I describe that maybe like if I knew what the fucking title was it would be self-explanatory that is more earthy it's still it's a like mild sweet almost musky infused with um, earthy or woody properties spicy even creamy again wow that that is a very special one that is the one that I'm going to try out with my diffuser so I'm going to google that and see what it is and see if any of what I just said <laughs> what I think the smell is is correct oh I'm so excited by that one you guys need to get that one if you're only getting one or two next shampoo I hope I'm saying that correctly okay the last one is coconut lime Coffee's actually starting to smell okay. Maybe I just need to drink like 10 cups of it to get used to it. Coconut lime. Please be creamy. Please be creamy. Please be creamy. <sighs> it's creamy. <laughs> it's fucking creamy. Yeah, got a bit close there. <clears throat> These are fucking delicious. So I can smell the coconut in that and I can smell the lime. Mm, yeah, the coconut's really nice. If you like coconut oil or just coconuts in general, you're going to really enjoy that scent. So I am opening up my favorite Thailand and mango. That is such a specific smell as well. I fucking love those flavors. It just makes me want to, yeah, go somewhere tropical. None of them invade your senses and are like, whoa, that's a bad smell. And when I say intense, it's a good intense. You know how some things are really good when they're intense and others aren't? <laughs> it's like that. You get what I mean. Okay, so I have picked my top three and they are my beloved Thai lime and mango, blueberry muffin, which you need in your fucking life. It is so creamy and neg champo. These three are so unique and so individual that you could just literally rotate those three and you'd be set. And your sense of smell would be pleasantly surprised each time you put a new scent on. Because there's nothing worse than having a house that doesn't smell like a home. That is why I love my smell so much. That is why I love my lighting, my LED lighting so much. Why I love the owl diffuser because it adds ambience. It makes my house feel like a home. And I love it when the kids come home, they're like, oh, mommy, the house smells like fruit. <laughs> but now I need to move on to the candles. And this is a really special moment for me because I'm starting to do collaborations. Like this must be how the people feel that I do collaborations with, you know? It's like, 
holy fucking shit, you've made this thing based on stuff that I'm into, which is what I do, you know, with Black Friday and all the other girls I've worked with. It's a real fucking honor. Thank you, Wickedy Whack. Thank you, Annalise, for listening to what I like and for infusing that into a candle. <laughs> Look at that. Focus, please. Fluoro green and black bitches. This this is my candle. This is my candle that I developed with Wickedy Wag and I couldn't be prouder. The scent is not one that we have spoken of yet. It is based on ugh, my favorite high-end perfume, which is black opium. It is like a dark, sweet, cherry, um, mysterious, spicy. It is so different to everything here as well. And I love that. There's no repetition. Maybe one or two had like slight overlays where I'm like, this one kind of smells like that one. But then when I went back to it, I'm like, no, 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 that's, that's totally different. But this, this smells like the fucking perfume. If you haven't smelled the perfume, then buy the, the candle because that will be a cheaper <laughs> thing for you to do because it is quite an expensive perfume. And if you don't know, good perfumes made from ethical ingredients with real fragrances are expensive. And they linger longer on the skin, just like these candles. So this is my limited edition Wickedy Work candle. I believe these are now for sale up on her website and we did not make many of them. They were very expensive for her to make due to the scent, more so than her original candles. They come in this lovely little gift box here which I quite like. It's just a clean matte black. It also has some extra packing inside so the candle stays safe. So if you are overseas and you're worried about buying a glass candle, there is quite a lot of padding within the box and then I'm sure they would be wrapped in bubble wrap as well. So these are going to sell out. Like I said, they are limited edition. So head to their website. You can use that 15% off code and we can smell the same. I mean, <laughs> in any other context, that would be fucking weird, right? Like, I don't want to smell like you. In this instance, in this case, you do. You want to smell like me. So get one for your office, get one for your bedside table when you're Netflixing. It's such a beautiful candle and I'm lucky I have a few here. So I'm going to give away one. I'm really organized and haven't figured out the details of that yet. So click on the description below to figure that out. But I'm giving away, so organized, I don't even have the wallet. <laughs> one of these candles and the wallet as well. And how I'm actually going to select a winner is by picking one of the comments. So make sure you comment down below and I will use a random number generator. Say if there's 300 comments, I will select a random number <laughs> from zero to 300 and say if it comes up as 69. Why did that number come to my head? I will go to the 69th comment and you will be the winner. But there are some more rules. You have to be following myself on Instagram and also wickety whack. I will be checking. So make sure you do that. There's also another giveaway running. I know this is a little confusing because there's two. So there's one specifically being run on my YouTube channel. And then there's another one where Wickedy Wack are giving away, I believe about five of these. And that competition is specifically going to be on Instagram. So you've got two chances to win some candles and a wallet that's super fucking exciting. The details and rules of the Instagram competition will be on my Instagram post. So head on over there and check it out at Avelina Demore. But guys, I, I have a fucking candle. I'm so excited. So these are the little versions as well. Let me talk to you about, oh, let's read that natural soy candle made in Australia. I didn't actually know that there's like a burning etiquette, like things you have to do with the wick, like trim it down and stuff. So it's very handy that they've put that as a sticker on the bottom of their candle. I really appreciate that. All right, where were we? We were up to candle size. So there's this smaller one here and then there's this, oh, mama's not playing with this one. Oh. <laughs> that one, look at the size of it it is like I don't know is that twice the size I don't I don't know it's a it's a lot bigger <laughs> it's heavy it's really heavy I haven't burnt this one yet steel was so in love with this one that was the thing I mentioned earlier where he's like well if these are your candles can this one be mine it's like the rainbow and I caught I will try to find the story when I first got the package and opened it up steel's reaction to it was one of these ones was absolutely adorable it melt my heart and he was like oh <gasps> I have to Mom, wait till tomorrow. It's only one day. <gasps> <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I bought my mom. I never had candles, so is it okay if one of them can be mine? <laughs> it was just beautiful. So this one is Japanese honeysuckle. Oh, that's so interesting. They've got more scents on top of the ones that they've made for the diffusers. There's even more in their candle range. Japanese honeysuckle. 
If there's a thing where people get off on people smelling things, <laughs> this video is gonna be right up that person's alley. That's beautiful. It's exactly the type of thing that I'd expect to smell if walking into like a Japanese garden. That could be one of my favorites. Annalise, does this come in the diffuser oil? <laughs> if so, I'm gonna have to place an order. That is a double wick one as well. I love those. That will last a long time. I imagine that would be dearer to send overseas because of the weight difference. So you can see my one is a little bit smaller. And my one is a single wick one. Oh God, did I get fucking spoiled with this collaboration? So I've got two more here. Amazon grape. I nearly read amazing grape. That is different. Is that? Yeah, that's amazing grape. So Amazon grape, that's beautiful. So I had that in my office burning and when I'm doing orders and I put music on. Sometimes I can't listen to music because I find it too distracting. I don't know if you guys like that too. But this one was so beautiful. I didn't, I didn't want to light it. Their colors are so gorgeous in their candles. Look at that. How do, you, how do you do it? You need to tell me. It must be black magic. I think Annalise has sold her soul to the devil and in return she has figured out how to put the most epic smells in these candles and oils. Mm, I really get apple from that but it's creamy. Well frosting. Yeah apple frosting. Oh. Getting back to the diffuser oils for a second. They have another range which is more medicinal. So they are just simply titled essential oil and I have two here that I was given and I had this one on every night last week with the kids because they were all sick. Von had very bad flu and the kids both had viral infections so they were just little messes. So one is called Sleep Aid and one is called Anxiety Ease and there's three others on her website as well. These are more medicinal. They have things like eucalyptus and tea tree oil, all Australian sourced essential oils which is fantastic. But these ones are pretty potent with very specific oils so you can smell them straight away. I think as well that one has eucalyptus in it so that's sleep aid. But when I first spoke to Annalise about doing the collaboration, we were speaking about the ingredients and I was going off my nut about how insanely intense in a good way they were. So she said, well, if you want to speak about ingredients, the best one, the best range would be the essential oil range because they're all using Australian natural ingredients and they're, they have medicinal benefits so they're healthy for you. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% real with you. I was like, that's great, <laughs> but <laughs> I said, my heart lies with your range of lovely smelling shit for the diffusers. I said, I'm totally down with the medicinal ones and I have used the one, like I said, when the boys are sick, but they're like spot treatment oils for me. They're not for everyday use. They might be for you and that's fine, but I definitely prefer, you know, coconut lime or caramel vanilla in my house versus um, tea tree oil and eucalyptus. There is a complete place for this. And to me, that is when you're feeling a little blue and your immune system or your nose or whatever needs a little bit of help. That's where these come in. So the pricing on the 30 mil oil droppers, they have $15. That is insanely reasonable for how long I've been using mine. I don't have the price on the candle, but I will put that in the description below. And when you head to their website, if you choose to do so, all that information will be there. If you're going to select something, let me know which oil you ended up buying. Are you going to buy one of my own candles? Let me know what you think of the smell once you get it. And remember, there is that 15% off code. I believe it's just my name, lowercase Evelina, and that will get you 15% off. It's not an affiliate code. It's just something that we organized as part of the collaboration. And of course, if you're going to buy some of these products, Use the code, get 15% off. I will go over all these details in the description below. So just click that. Again, I am so honored and privileged to have done this video for Wickedy Whack. They deserve to fucking be in the stratosphere on social media. They need to explode. So please enter the competition, share them and myself with some friends and help us get out there. And another reason why I've loved doing this video is because it's supporting another fantastic female Australian business owner. I couldn't be happier right now. All right, here we are, another day. This is the second part of the video where I actually show you how I use my diffuser. Excuse the noise in the background, the kids are in the bath, they are safely being watched by someone, so don't worry about that. So this is the one I was sent by Wickedy Whack that I mentioned earlier, it is the Owl one. The one that I've been using for about a year and a half is this guy here. I love the abstract kind of pattern on it. They work exactly the same. They are exactly the same unit, it's just the outside that's different. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna have the one on because I don't need to. So I actually forgot this scent. I'm gonna get into bubble. So this is Japanese honeysuckle. I believe I went over it in the candle, but I forgot to mention that it's in a oil as well. So this is the one that I've used in here. And why I really like these is for two reasons. The first reason is that they're really child safe. I was getting a little worried always using wax melts and having the open flame because I'm clumsy, honestly. <laughs> it's like the kid safety thing as well, but more for me, I'm gonna burn the house down. 
and I like my house, I don't want to do that. So I like that these don't use an open flame and I think that's a really big bonus to the old fashioned oil burners, but I still do use them as well, don't get me wrong. Okay, so the, I, I was about to call that steam that's coming out, but it's it's not hot, so it's a diffused air, I guess that's where the word diffuser comes from, but that's cold. Okay, so it's really safe if a child comes up and touches that, they're not going to get burnt or anything like that. The second reason I prefer these over oil melts, even over electric oil melters, is that the diffuser seems to carry the fragrance a lot further. But I actually prefer using my wax burner in my office because it's such a small confined space. But when you're in this open area, like my living room, which might be 10 meters by 10 meters wide at a guess, and we've got the high cathedral ceilings here. Can you go up and show them the ceilings? So we've got these beautiful wooden beams going through here and it's nice to look at, <laughs> it feels very open and welcoming, but it is a bitch to heat in winter and I was having trouble getting a fragrance throughout the whole house until I found Wickety Whack and I started using this diffuser. So I'm still only putting in two or three drops at a time and it is doing this entire, can you hear the kids, the entire room. So on to actually using the device, come a little closer and I'll show you how easy they are to use. So the unit on the front has two buttons. It's pretty straightforward. So it's only got two buttons on the front. You open it up, you pull the lid off here, and then you've just got this little cavity for water. So I basically use it until that water goes away. And honestly, that might last maybe six hours. I've never timed it, but it lasts a long while. And I only had one fragrance at the time, so I would put in two or three drops and then that would last me the whole day. And instead of unplugging this and taking this unit to the sink, what I normally do is just bring over a little measuring jug and fill the container up with purified water. On the inside, there's a little mark saying, you know, don't overfill. So if you were starting fresh for the day, you'd put in your filtered water, you put in the fragrance of your choice, you close it, there we go, and then you pop this little guy on and you just need to make sure that that top I'm gonna call it a diffuser hole. I actually don't know what the fuck that's called. <laughs> but there we go. So the right button turns the unit on, the left button turns the lights on. Green means that it's going to emit the vapor until it's finished, until the water's gone. If you press it a second time, so you get the red light, that means it will come on, I think it's about every minute. If you're in a smaller room, that might be an option, so you're not so overpowered by the fragrance. All right guys, so that is how I use my diffuser. I hope you've enjoyed this showcase of my favorite Australian scent brand, Wickety Whack. Make sure you head to their website and check out their range of stuff. Remember to look down below because I will have the details on the competition and the discount codes in the description box. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my ever-growing YouTube family. Put a like on this video. I will see you in the comments and also in the next video. Bye for now.